What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Sangatsu no Line, this time of episode 8. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen today after Hina and uh, the little sister Momo, uh, not too much more importantly, um, kind of found, well not more importantly at all, uh, found out about uh, Ray's um, profession, uh, him playing Shogi after watching him on TV, after Nakaido had done a little bit of commentary, um, some, again I don't think that commentary that Nakaido had done will ever land him a job on the uh, on the comrade commentary box again but uh, it was a really awesome little segment there um, again just shows the difference between Nikaido and Rei and kind of how Nikaido has taught people before and knows how to kind of teach people um, his kind of passion uh, whereas Rei this is very much his first time isn't it so definitely uh, getting the hang of teaching people things but uh, really nice to see um, in general Rei had a really awesome episode uh, meeting um, a kind of bird of the same feather which was the title for the episode last episode, uh, meeting someone very similar to him that's had kind of the same thought processes throughout his uh, kind of growing up to adulthood as well. Just really awesome to see him make these connections. So um, hopefully today's episode will be more of that kind of wholesomeness and good feelings, but um, do have a feeling that we're going to have to confront this uh, kind of darkness um, at some point in the series which is going to be very tough but um, do let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions and let's get right into it guys I say darkness it's, it's again that's just like a kind of metaphor for it this uh it's kind of suffering this Uh, again, I think it stems from the, the lack of mourning he done for his parents, so going to have to reach down where that kind of started, if you know what I'm saying. Going to have to trudge through all the darkness that that kind of created around his life. Again, I could be interpreting that wrong, but that is very much what I'm understanding from Ray at this point. And then seeing his childhood growing up as well. With the uh, one flew over, one flew over the cuckoo's nest stuff happening, chucking the eggs out the uh, basket. Just an you go. It's almost a bit like that scene right there. We're gonna to have to trudge through a lot of, a lot of thorns, a lot of them, a lot of little pricks, a lot of little cuts. And I wish this opening was extended every time. <laughs> I listened to the full version a lot. I wish we got that like five minute version as the open in every episode. I wouldn't be mad. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more learning. I really liked the ending last episode. It was uh, almost childlike. I did see that this was actually rated as a show, uh, a sign and show, which makes sense. But um, the ending last episode was very much catered towards kids. Obviously, yeah, uh, that's kind of best for learning, isn't it? Silver General. Yeah, we've seen all of these before, haven't we? Gold General. Strongest. Yeah, one of my favourite pieces in uh, chess. Again, a lot of these are very similar to chess, aren't they? I know one of my favourite pieces here. I feel like they've got some really talented voice actors to voice these cats. <laughs> I recognise quite a few of these voices. Yeah, true. Late game, the kings do a lot. Good explanation there. It's 
It's much easier to understand when you say cats, isn't it? In Japan, at least. So that becomes our bit of land. Oh, wait. So what happens to the pawn? Does it get extra moves? <laughs> Is it that guy? Oh. I was gonna say I'd be really surprised if it was, but I wouldn't. Or I wouldn't. Oh, it is literally by him. <laughs> so again, I was kind of thinking it might be by, by the guy with the white hair. It'd be pretty uh, extraordinary because again, I wouldn't would have seen him doing it. But wow, he even has his own book. I guess that really does show how passionate he is about teaching people. That's awesome. That is pretty incredible. Yeah. We. <laughs> I'm a little. I feel like Ray might be a little bit mad because he didn't really get a chance to teach us then, did he? Although, again, Nikado's so good at it and we're really only just starting. It makes sense, but it's a little bit sad he didn't kind of get his time to shine and teach because he is a genius at this game, isn't he? I was going to say, all the way. Don't worry, it really wouldn't be too bad you having a best friend like this, man. I love this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> What has he brought here? <laughs> you know what? He could actually use a bit of furniture and so on. I, I really hope he lets him keep this stuff. Bloody hell. So rich. <laughs> he brought a whole bed. Wow. He is letting him keep it nice. Wow. That certainly was something, wasn't it? Did Nikaido produce this as well? So we've got this song again. Interesting that they're playing it here. <laughs> so it looks like if there's a piece in front of him, he can't do anything. Honestly, these songs are very catchy. One of the best pieces. No, uh, no bit for the king. 
I guess that was the end of those songs. Again, they're actually really catchy. Love that they got the uh, cast to actually sing them as well. Just leave it out, bro. Look how much busier his room looks. With a few chairs in there. Now oh, these guys. Yep. Ah, these guys get emotional. It was quite the uh, passionate piece, wasn't it? Ah, their master as well. Getting understandable, isn't it? All being so passionate. Good for them. I love them as well. Damn. Really didn't go well for studio right there, did it? I know, right? It is a little annoying, but again, understandable in a way. Oh, nice. Nice to see Nikado's doing well. But yeah, honestly, it does. From an outside perspective, I can understand that. Because if I was also looking on the situation, I'd be like, how the hell are you not getting emotional over my man Nikado not doing this much for you right here? But again, understanding uh, Ray's temperament is understandable, but a little depressing. Relegation. I can understand that. But is that where it stems from, is it? The lack of kind of cooperation. It's just such a great guy, just makes you feel like shit. Because I think from again race perspective, it does seem like Nikado is good at everything. That Ray is not that great at, but then Ray is the superior shogi player. Why does he deserve to be the superior shogi player if he's the worst human? Probably something, probably what he's thinking along those lines or something. Maybe they will. That might be interesting to see later on in the series if uh, Ina becomes like a pro or something. granddaughters oh is she, is she talking about the old man yeah truly timeless
as sister or half sister. Yeah, I think it is. Why is she here? Distant Thunder. Maybe she is the same woman because that we see in those flashbacks. So the voice is slightly similar. I don't know. And when I say flashbacks, I mean like the episode one flashback. Obviously, we saw her fully in a flashback before. I hope she's improved herself as a person. Yeah. I mean, when you say it like that, no, but considering the uh, the circumstances, it, it is quite weird. He could have just said that politely. She's in the bath. Must be so awkward for him. A strange allocation this isn't it not really sure what to think if it's it's nice if it's it's like mean why are you here This pitch is really intrusive, isn't she? Got a boyfriend? At a fight? 
Goto. Probably not. Oh my god. Okay, a bit too far. <laughs> Just a bit. What's going on here? I really can't read this girl at all. I really can't. They like a thing? Like, I mean, it'd be weird because they're half brother, half sister, but from that scene right there, I'm just going to pause it quickly. I've only got three minutes left. Um, yeah, from that scene there, it seemed like, I would say romantic, but it seemed like weirdly kind of sexual, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and if she is the woman that we were seeing in the episode one flashback, for example, we've only ever seen like two really slight flashbacks of, uh, of this, uh, of a woman always in black and white um it kind of seemed like that might be her and again maybe they were some kind of romantic partnership maybe that's why goto punched uh ray right there because he maybe caught them together or something um also ray might have just been looking out for her perhaps and that's why he punched him just said that he's not good for you then back then as well as he said it now he, he said that he's not good for her so um, maybe he said that back then and that's why they got into a fight be interesting because again i don't really see ray being someone that gets into conflicts all that much um or kind of speaks up his mind to get into a conflict so um, that would be interesting to see exactly what happened in the past right there but that was a weirdly tense scene uh, in general this whenever this woman is on the screen it's weirdly tense isn't it and weirdly kind of um, you never know really what to think. You feel uncomfortable, but you don't know if it's good. You don't know if she's being a mean bitch. You don't know if she's actually just trying to be nice. So I think there's definitely some kind of hidden stuff about her, some hidden feelings in her um, that probably get brought up at some point. But um, for the most part, I, yeah, I don't really get along with her that well. Just from uh, some of the first impressions, seems like quite a jealous woman. And I think uh, her saying that she should stab, <laughs> just stab him if they fought, is uh, it goes along those lines as well, doesn't it? That is ruthless, and uh, I, I can tell she was in line there as well. I can tell. Oh. Truly love him. Oh damn. Yeah, at least, she's at least very intrusive, isn't she? Just fucking decides to sleep around and happens. A bit like Nakaida in that way. <laughs> Atsunaga. Old man. like you yeah maybe i was kind of right with what i said uh, earlier on in the episode oh wow she really just um uh, yeah i said about it being his profession and maybe not his passion maybe that is the case did she just come here to unsettle us in this match yeah i yeah, I, I I kind of feel like that as well. <laughs> if I heard that just before this, I would, I would kind of feel fat, very bad for trying to win, to be honest. I knew I was going to retire this old man. Tough one. I know, she's just really brought a bad mood upon us. I don't like her one bit. <laughs> I don't like her one bit. Every character in this show has been reasonably likable. 
I say reasonably, very likable. And if not very, reasonably likable, except for her. She very much is a rolling thunder, isn't she? Just unsettling every every thought we've had, kind of trying to unravel Ray as a character almost, hasn't she been? In a very, again, intrusive and quite mean way, but it, it, in a way it works, doesn't it? She is kind of unraveling who he is. He is this nice guy. He probably would throw a match to keep this old man playing the game of Shogi longer, potentially. I feel like maybe that won't happen now. Because he needs to win as well. But, um, yeah, very, uh, not really 100% sure what to make of her. Like I said, I initially and still don't really like her, but again, I feel like that might be, might even change at some point. I don't know. Again, I don't really know her deal. Like, what's she doing now? What's her profession? Is she still playing Shogi? I can't imagine it. I can't imagine she's playing. The fact that she hasn't spoke to her father in so long. It's a really strange old location right there, wasn't it? Seven Dam. Forty years professional. Is that an actual book, do you reckon? <laughs> do you reckon they actually released that? It would be pretty cool if they did. Do you know what? It would probably be quite successful as well. Um, I say that. It would be successful in terms of teaching, but I was also thinking during the episode, I don't actually think that book would be very successful in terms of being a book, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I feel like that is just very much a kind of passion project for Nikaido. It's not, he, obviously, he didn't make it to make money or anything. He made it to teach, but I feel like he probably actually made a loss from kind of selling those books. But... Um, kind of put them out there anyway just to teach people i think that's the type of guy nikaido is and he's also just rich as fuck anyway from what it seems like so <laughs> probably doesn't even matter to him but yeah really uh interesting episode again there was uh almost like two halves of of, uh, of the same coin almost and nikaido kind of forcibly staying over around uh round rays and kind of helping him out a little bit bringing some furniture um staying with him um trying to be a best friend to him and then his half sister coming around kind of forcibly kind of uh, bit, making him a pushover kind of just going into his house using his bath uh, making sure that you're sleeping around um, taking his top uh, taking his uh, his gifted um, I really like Nikaido man I, I really like Nikaido everyone in the series likes Nikaido from what it looks like as well um, but yeah taking his gifted uh, gifted by Nikaido um, what's called blanket and she's just uh again very much almost the opposite of what Nakaido had done when he came around and uh very much unsettled uh, very much unsettled uh ray i think they've got that in similar i think they do are, are both kind of unsettling him in a different way um like Nakaido makes him feel like he's a bad person in comparison but um kind of feels like she knows well she said that she doesn't really know that much about ray but i feel like she knows quite a bit more than anyone else she did grow up with him um and i feel like she does know his kind of thought processes more than anything rather than kind of i think she might have been talking about like what he likes and what is uh what his kind of favorite food and stuff are for example um in that scene rather than kind of his uh, thought process because she did bring up that he was a a, a nice guy okay, and i kind of feel like that was a bit of a backhanded compliment if you know what i'm saying i feel like she said that to kind of uh put him off and yeah, it's just weird. I, I don't fully kind of understand her, if you know what I'm saying. It's a, it's a bit of an enigma, to be honest. <laughs> again, I understand I don't really like her for the minute, but again, that could very much change because um, I don't really know her circumstances. I don't really know what she's doing. I don't really know her kind of thought processes. Again, she's just this kind of um, amalgamation of trying to jumble up Ray's emotions and kind of thought processes. So, um, yeah, very, uh, very interesting kind of meeting right there. I really want to watch it all again, to be honest, all the, uh, all the scenes with her. And when did she come in? Yeah, it's like half the episode, so I'm not going to watch it in, in this video, but I'm, I think right after I upload this, I'm going to watch this whole 
second half of this episode again to be honest with you because again i imagine there's quite a lot you can probably gain from it but yeah let me know you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this one and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these uh, reactions um i'm uploading this on friday i think so um i will be back on i think i've got the new schedule haven't i i think the new schedule starts next week i'll just check that quickly so I'm going to be back on Tuesday um, next week and then Wednesday and then Friday. So I'll, I'll be doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, I've been doing Thursday and Friday, so it'll just be Thursdays, not anymore. And it'll just be Tuesdays and Wednesdays in place of Fridays. Kind of splits up a little bit throughout the week, which is nice. But um, And obviously an additional episode throughout the week, uh, of course. I, I wanted to, uh, definitely wanted to add either an additional episode of this or Berserk. I've been really enjoying both. If I could do both, I would, but I um, thought I'd uh, do this just because it is a, a little bit shorter, although I do end up talking quite a lot at the end of these episodes, so maybe not. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys.